I have been a complete control software user since version 9. And since then, and through each and every upgrade, I've really only ever had one complaint, and that is the size of the sample preview pane in the app. So you can see that I already have the app open. It really frustrates me that the search by types and characters page allows me to see only three samples at a time. I have 130,000 samples in my library, and I can tell you that I would really like to see more than three at a time. But even the other views are pretty minimal considering the number of instruments and loop libraries in my collection. In general, I think the application could afford to take up a little more real estate on the average monitor. And so Native Instruments, if you're listening, please fix this. For example, why can't the app window be stretched like so many other apps, so that the user can make the best use of their available screen space? But in the very least, please make the app window bigger so that the sample preview window can show a decent number of samples before I have to scroll. In good faith, I have patiently waited for Native Instruments to fix what to me seemed like a glaring mistake in the design of the interface but it has not changed to date. Not to be deterred, however, I began searching for a solution myself, and that is when I came across a written tutorial showing how to edit and then recompile the app executable file. And having done so successfully, I have to say that it was surprisingly easy to do. And so without further ado, let's preview the results of my fix so that you can see whether my borrowed solution is one you'd like to borrow for yourself. For me it makes a seeming world of difference in terms of usability and functionality. Now no matter what view I choose I can instantly see so much more of what I have available to me. And so this change just makes using the interface so much more pleasurable. I can see plenty of samples, and I can also see roughly half of my instrument and loop libraries, all without even touching the scroll wheel. To me, this is the way the interface should have been configured in the first place. So if you like what you see, and you want to take the plunge, you have two choices. You can follow the written tutorial that I found online, or you can carry on with the rest of this YouTube demonstration. I'll put a link to the original tutorial in the description when I'm done, since you may find it helpful in either case. So let's get to it. You only need to do two things in preparation. First, place a copy of the complete control executable file on your desktop. The point here is to preserve the original installation folder in its entirety by making changes to a copy of the executable file which is stored elsewhere. Secondly, download and install a free app called the Resource Hacker. This is the tool with which we are going to edit and then recompile our custom executable file. I have put a download link in the description for your convenience. So let's get started. I already have Resource Hacker app opened, and so I will just drag and drop my executable file copy straight into the app window. I then double click on the style sheet folder and scroll down to kk slash kpi.txt. Now the number we are looking for is 381. In the customized sample I showed you earlier, I had roughly doubled the value, so let's change that to 800. Next, click on kk slash browser panel dot text and click compile when asked. Here the number we are looking for is 535, and once again I roughly doubled it, since it seemed logical to keep the two new values proportionally similar to one another. So let's change that to 1000. Now just click on any other nearby line to once again get the compile pop-up 
and do so when prompted. We are nearly done. Now just click the file drop down menu and select save as and select the same file you just edited. That's it. Now you can test the results. I should note that the changes we just made work perfectly for a 1080 screen resolution. And so depending on your resolution and your screen size, you'll likely have to fiddle with these numbers to suit your own monitor and taste. And I should also point out that I even created another version for my DAW, which is obviously not so big considering that it is a VST that fits within the overall DAW window. So good luck and enjoy your newly improved Complete Control software.